All right, so to start this glitch off, the very first thing you guys want to do is just make a brand new player. Now, with this player, um, you basically just want to make the worst player possible. So I picked an all blue slashing pie chart, and then I didn't upgrade the slashing whatsoever. So yeah, and then make the player as short as possible, lowest weight, and lowest wingspan. So to go with that, like I said, just you know, make the worst player possible now after you guys make your uh, player make sure you guys go directly into the nba now the team that you guys want to choose make sure you pick a team that's not going to make the playoffs so i feel like the best team to choose for this and the team that i use this time is the detroit pistons and then choose your agent this doesn't really matter you guys can pick either one now um once you guys get to where you guys see your schedule what you want to do is go ahead and sim to the end of the season and like i said you guys want to make sure you pick a team that won't make the playoffs if your team does make the playoffs then you guys will just have to restart but i feel like the detroit pistons is probably going to be the best team that won't uh be able to make the playoffs but like i said you guys can choose any team that you want now the key with this is once we um, get to the end of the season it's going to allow us to pick a different team now um, what you guys want to do is try to get as much VC as you possibly can so once the season is over with you guys just want to hit you want to end current season hit yes and then you guys can uh, spam a through all these uh, things that you guys will see right here now um, it'll ask would you like to resign with the current team make sure you guys go ahead and pick no now once you guys do that it'll say welcome to uh, make sure you guys hit enter free agency right here and then um you guys can pick the team that you want to go to now i was trying to i was trying out different teams because i was trying to get a max contract but I don't think it's possible to get a thousand VC unless you're coming off a fresh championship. But you guys, you guys can let me know. In my last video that I posted like this, um, people were saying you were able to get a thousand VC, but I wasn't able to get a thousand VC. So if you are, drop a comment down below and let me know which team you chose. But the most VC I was able to get by doing this was 780. However, I do believe that you can actually get 800 vc at the very last offer during this right here i should have went for 800 vc but i still go 780 i mean i guess it really doesn't matter because with this glitch we're going to be racking up vc regardless so yeah man um make sure you put your uh your bonus at 1x and then your year at one year as well so um i was trying to get 800 800 vc really i wanted to get a thousand but i couldn't find a team that would offer that for me so i do think i could have got 800 but i lowered it down to 780 just you know just so i would get it for sure now if they deny your offer the second time just to go ahead and redo the 780 offer for the third time and they will accept it so now um you will um be put into the micro screen and then you guys want to go over to the mod minutes tab now as you guys see choosing this team right here we're already at 12th man but we're playing 10 minutes as per our contract so the key thing is we want to get that minutes tab to five minutes opposed to 10 because that's what's going to allow us to get the most vc as fast as possible so after you guys have checked your you know your minutes what you guys want to go do is go ahead and play the first my career game now in this game what i did is i just fouled out as fast as possible and then i feel like whenever i do the glitch this way it just speeds up the process for us so um in this first game what you guys want to do is whenever you're on defense foul foul out as fast as possible but you also if you're on offense for whatever reason you guys just want to throw turnovers so you guys see i just would throw the ball out of bounds and it's tough being five seven out here i'm not gonna lie why why am i even in the game as is why am i even in the nba anyway so what you guys want to do like i said in this game just foul out as fast as possible that's what i did and then whenever i was on offense like i said i would just um throw the ball out of bounds or i walk or i would walk out of bounds 
it didn't really matter so after you guys file out what you guys want to do is just go ahead and check your mom and his tab now we're gonna we're not gonna get any vc for this game because we fouled out but that's okay because we're setting up the setting up the glitch how we should be now go to your mom and his tab you guys will still see that i'm a 12th man but i still have 10 minutes of playing time we want to get that down to five so what you guys want to do is once again go ahead and play your second game and in this game you guys want to do the same exact thing once again you guys want to foul out as fast as possible but you guys also want to get some turnovers so you guys will see whatever i'm on offense i would just you know force up bad shots i would walk out of bounds and yeah man that's the best way to do this i feel like before you foul out you guys want to have a code symbol because I noticed after this game, that is what allowed me that that is what allowed me to get under. That's what allowed me to get five minutes played, and that's how you get the most VC as fast as possible. So, so yeah, man, you guys will see. I got the code symbol right here. So, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and foul out. Now, for the second game, you're not gonna get any VC either, just because we did foul out. Now, a lot of you guys are probably like, "Yo, what's the point of this if we're not getting any VC?" Chill, bro. I I got you guys. The third game, and after that is where we're gonna get start getting our VC. So, after the second game, you guys can go check your mom and his tab, and you guys will see you have five minutes played that's a maximum amount of minutes you'll play per game but really if you do this method the way that i'm about to show you guys you won't even play five minutes and these games will fly by so yeah man and then go over to your settings tab and put the game difficulty on hall of fame and then do five minute quarters this is what it's going to allow us to get the most vc possible while also playing the least amount of time as possible so once you get into the game what you guys want to do is get five fouls and then once you get five fouls you literally don't have to do anything else you can go afk if you want this is basically an afk glitch if you want it to be just uh, get your five fouls and then you guys will see that you will hardly play any like in this game that you guys just saw it played it put me in the third quarter for a little while and then i played four minutes in the fourth quarter and then it subbed me out and the game was over and you guys will see you will get your vc plus a hall of fame multiplier and after um after every time you do this just make sure you guys uh, get five fouls and play as bad as possible and you guys will fly through these games and you guys will rack up your vc man